Okay, all right, everyone, please, everyone, calm yourselves down. Thank you very much. Today, we at the Large Hadron Collider are celebrating a one-year anniversary of a quaint, simple dream. A city-sized electromagnet in an underground layer capable of firing an ultra-energized proton beam at the speed of light. <laughs> Alma Gutierrez, Baltimore Sun. Uh, what about criticisms that the LHC could have caused miniature black holes or um, unstable particles? Wow. <laughs> Someone's been reading too much science fiction. <laughs> yes. Anyways, uh, no, we have not encountered any black holes or gateways to the multiverse. Uh, or... I didn't say anything about gateways to the multiverse. Did I say it? You did. With what words did I say then? Did your eyes just blink sideways? Let's move on to the next question. Uh, yes, you, sir, in the back, please. How did I get here? In physics, anything is possible, right? Okay, I can take this glass of water and I can pour it upside down and it's possible that the molecules will float up to the ceiling. But we all know that gravity will take hold and it will bring them down to the floor. Yes, you see here, and we're taking it and we're pouring. Okay, okay so it's possible, that, uh, theoretically, that we may have opened up a portal to a hostile universe that's planning an invasion of Earth. But I can assure you that everything is completely Next question. Uh, uh, this is a question for the room. Uh, let's say I wanted to annihilate this planet. Uh, what would be the best way to go about doing that? 